Hello, welcome to the Photoshop window pull tutorial. We have a few examples that we're gonna show here um, of some window pulls. So what I did was took two different shots, one exposed uh, for the interior and then one exposed for the exterior, as you can see here. Um, so how you wanna set this up is you wanna put these in as layers in Photoshop. Then you're gonna put, um, hold on. Okay, so you're gonna wanna have this dark layer on the top of this um, exposed layer. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna select this uh, add layer mask option, click there, click command I, command I to invert it. Um, it's gonna do it like that. And then on this mask, we're going to use the brush tool. Hold on, let me change the window. Um, okay. Oh, I have to just move this actually. Okay, so in order to paint basically this mask, you're gonna have this white color on top of the black. So for example, you're gonna see here, if I put on 50, it's gonna darken. And to erase it basically is to just switch these colors back and then you can see like that. Um, so a key here is using shift I. So when you click one point there, um, sorry, not shift I, shift click. So I'm holding shift now and then I click and it's gonna be a straight line. So you can see how that's gonna be helpful. I'm still holding shift now. Um, so what we're going to basically do is we're going to zoom in to each corner. Um, depending on the size of the window in the photo, you're going to pick um, a number. I like to start small. So I'm using a 10 here and I'm just holding shift as I go across this whole border of this window. It's kind of hard to see here, but we'll just guess for now. Oops, that doesn't look right. Um, we'll go back to that. So I'm just holding shift all the way along here. That looks a little better. Let's see if this is more realistic. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, and then we're gonna do it on the other side as well. Oops, still holding shift. It's going in each corner shift click shift click um, and then to fill it in basically going to increase the size of the brush tool still holding shift um, and yep going all around the corner basically filling it in um, until i can basically get a around a 150 point sized brush to basically just color it in like that. So this is one example of the right window. Let's see how it looks, zooming out. Yeah, this this looks good. Um, we're, what we're gonna do, um, the window looks a little dark, but the whole picture is a little dark, so we're gonna actually do that in Lightroom, where we're gonna expose everything so it's going to look okay um, but if the interior was going to be exposed and the exterior like this black window was too dark what you could do is you could just adjust the opacity on this slider here so you can see how when i slide it here it gets light and then when i slide it back to 100 percent, it gets dark again um and then basically the way you want to send it back to me is you're just going to export this as a jpeg in good quality and you're going to export it as a jpeg and then you can just send me the jpeg which is this file format right here um, and then always save if i try to press x here it's going to actually make me save or ask me to save and then i was just save it before closing just because you do a lot of hard work and if i ever want to like go back into this file and maybe take out some of these numbers here um, I can do that. Cool. Um, we'll do 
one more example with this kind of window. So here's the steps. Um, bring the interior exposed one under. Click on this mask, press the add layer mask button here. Invert that layer mask. Zoom in. Click on the brush tool. White over black. Um, small, small brush size here. It's 20. Um, going over it now. Um, yeah, this will be a good example. So now I'm increasing the size to 50. I can't see. Increasing the size to 50. Now I can increase the size to like 200. And basically just filling it all in. And then you can drag it with your mouse too. So that looks good. We would obviously do the other side, um, but here's like a little touch up technique that I have. So it always shows these black, this black line when you are, um, when you get a little over onto the white part of the window. So what you want to do is re-invert it back to black over white, which basically acts as the eraser. I click right there and then I'm holding shift now and I click there and then it goes into a thinner line basically like we can maybe make this top one a little more thin yeah that's better and then this bottom one i click there holding shift now and then clicking on this side so it really cleans it up and then it looks like that and then you would obviously do this window as well file export as jpeg in good quality export and then email or text me the photo okay cool thank you